Hi, I'm Rex Black, president of RBCS. So I'm here at Kuala Lumpur at the Softec 2017 conference, and I put out a challenge yesterday that I've yet to have people get a good response for, which is, what are the factors that would cause you to want to use a decision table as opposed to wanting to use pairwise testing? Think about it for a minute. If you had attended one of our RBCS Advanced Test Analyst courses, you would probably know the answer to that. Still, still stumped? Well, maybe you can come to my tutorial on Thursday where I'm going to talk about pairwise testing, and this is one of the things I'll address is when to use it and when not to. And if you're still stumped after that, or if you can't make that, you might check out my recorded webinar, Myths of Pairwise Testing, on the RBCS YouTube channel. Thanks. <clears throat> I wouldn't call it taking the morning off and working. Hmm. You having a problem there, cunt? Hmm. Be uh, curious to know what the fuck is going on with that. You better not have just fucked that up, you fucking piece of shit.
time for. Hmm. Really? Not responding. Hmm. Really? Huh. Is it not? What the fuck is going on with it? This is starting to fucking frustrate me. Oh, I wanted shit. No, we have shit. Fuck. 